when we look at, at, at women in leadership and this dynamic of breaking, you know, breaking barriers and becoming, uh, becoming the first, do you think it's, it's a matter to, uh, to do that? Do you think it's a matter of, of breaking unwritten rules in, in, in that process? And what does it take, at least what did it take for you to do that in your own career? Did you see yourself as a barrier breaker? Actually, I didn't. I think I think most of the times when you're first, sometimes you don't know you're first. And so I just, I showed up. I showed up where I wanted to show up. Um, you know, when I was a, when I went out to be a cheerleader, I was a cheerleader in high school. So I went out to be a cheerleader at, at Cal. I didn't actually make it the first time. And then I thought, OK, well, dust it off and I'll come back again. Uh, so I just showed up in places where I wanted to show up or places where uh, these fabulous, caring adults in my life told me to show up. And then I showed up as me. I didn't show up, which I think is a message that I like to send uh, to all the women a lot is you have to do you. Uh, you have to show up as your authentic self. And sometimes you may not even know exactly who you are, uh, but once you figure it out, you have to show up and, as you. And so, and I've had situations where I, I didn't show up as me because I was told not to, uh, but I didn't really feel right until I showed up as myself. Um, and so uh, there's some weight to it. Uh, once you realize that you are the first, uh, but then you just have to do the right thing. Uh, you do the right thing. You show up with character. I try to show up as nice. I try to deliver uh, the results. That's big for me because results matter. At some point, people just want results. Your bosses want results. The fans want results. And so I focus a lot. I focus a lot uh, on that. <laughs> 